Hello, welcome everybody. I'm Brother Zana David. Welcome to Biblical Sexual Purity. In case you're new, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, BS Purity TV, and also the other channel, Ego I Open. And visit my website, biblicalsexualpurity.com. I want to quickly share with us a dream that I had some time ago. It is about lust, and I believe that the Lord is using this to pass a message to people about what lust actually is. I was asking the lady in my dream that how many people have you slept with today? And she told me, you know, I haven't slept with anybody today. And I asked her, do you know how many men have taken you to bed in their minds today? She said, no. And I know that the Lord gave me the dream because he wants us to still have a deeper understanding that lust is the adultery, is the fornication of the heart. Um, if you think you have freedom to dress the way you want, whether you are a man or you are a woman, remember that the body is not us. It belongs to the Lord. It's a temple of God. And people should see us as light to the world and not as objects of lust, not as seducers. So mind the way you appear the Lord will judge everything we do in the flesh, either lusting after people or seducing people, all the good works we've done. Please don't follow the trend of the world. We have to understand that the world is going sex crazy. And we as children of God have to live our lives not according to the standard of this world, but according to the standard of God and the Bible. As revealed to us in the Bible, we should see lust as a great sin, as a serious sin that God himself is going to judge. Let us not lust after people. Let us not also seduce people by the way we dress. If we think we have freedom, the freedom shouldn't affect other people negatively. If you think that your belief, your freedom uh, gives you the right to dress the way you want, it should not make people to fall. Paul said, if meat will make my brother to fall, then I will not eat meat. Thank you. Share this message. And as we remain pure and holy for the Lord, it is my prayer that the grace of God will continue to keep us till we enter the kingdom of God. Thank you. God bless you. Bye-bye.